be that both here in France. We are talking the Road to Colossal and King of Fields. Yeah. Two tournaments where they placed second and third, respectively. Yeah. So obviously, they must have lost four sets in total. One of those sets, they lost to Rathlo. Yep. The other three, they lost to MK Leo. This could be number five if Lugi plays his cards right. Or maybe Meister will just be waiting for MK Leo mm -hmm. to try and break him down as we get into the game. Now, just a little bit of Footsie just trying to feel each other out. That is what is important here, especially if you have been VOD reviewing, working on this. You've got to see mm -hmm. if what you've been looking at is what's on your screen in front of you as an opening Cyclone. And you can see the positioning from yep. Meister here makes perfect sense. I was just about to say that Meister has been basically glued to these platforms for the entire first 30 seconds of the game. That is the correct way for most players to deal with Luigi. Such an enormously strong character on the ground, but staying on those platforms can be a really difficult situation for him to deal with, especially with Abi. Because you saw Luigi try to go for like the... Uh, for like a, the, the shorter upper to catch him out of there, but Meister can just uh, beat it away. You know, Meister stuck in the ledge, gets the down there! Up and that is gonna be enough! As the flanks <laughs> come down, looks like Lugi has an explosive reversal right there, going nice, and Logan to avoid the down smash as well. Fantastic air dodges, hits the fire into the face of that turtle off stage. We'll send you the space. Yeah, that turtle's such a strong move. And you see already Mice also going a lot more aggressive off the stage. Does not want Luigi on that big platform there. Wants him to be gone, wants him to stay away from him. Oh, gets the plunger in and a dash stick. Just some quick percentages. Mice now starting some combos of his own, getting 67%. Oh, still building onto it. Tries to go the off up tilt, but another out of shield option from Meister, saving him. And now, this is looking a bit more difficult for Luigi. Almost gets the back air as well, but Luigi barely being out of reach. Oh, not a combo. Oh, does miss it. Sent all the way down, punished by a down smash. This could be curtains for Luigi. Sends himself all the way up. Oh, no. Sticks to the wall, but he makes it back anyway. See if he can get a kind of punish. There's a oh! very high cyclone. Fantastic oh, stuff from oh, Luigi. Meister's tilted. He is super tilted. He was shaking his hat in such, such foulness. My <laughs> goodness, you love to see it. Lugi gets the grab, but it's actually a little bit too late. That's the problem. You want a hitbox <laughs> yep. on your grab, you got to sacrifice something. And Meister does beat him out. There's the down smash, and we have once again equalized. Yeah, despite Meister showing a bit of a sign of tilt, he is still very strong in this game plan. He's going to try and go as the full bucket. That means, A, he has a very strong two frame option, but also this means that the fireballs from Luigi are actually going to be able to hit again. Again, quick combo there, gets the bucket, and that's going to be enough. That's so it. much knockback on that. Look at his, oh, he is not happy. <laughs> <laughs> well, he can't be happy with a round one victory. That is first blood going to Meister. Lugi immediately looking for the run back. Going to see if Meister has adapted, can run away with it. And I'm so glad you mentioned the bucket, yeah. actually, because if I had to pick one thing that's really, uh, that really is... Uh-oh. You've seen what I've seen. Live and learn, baby. Look Lugi. at him go. Look at him go. <laughs> He's ready. If there's one thing I can notice about the difference in Meister's play is that he is utilizing that bucket a yep. lot more. Lugi was really controlling a lot of space with those fireballs. Mm -hmm. And Luigi now in a position, he is vibing. Meister still game one up, but he, I don't know what is happening it, there. Meister, Meister just saw this this 15 year old just dancing yeah. around. He turns to MK Leo and just goes, just raises his eyebrows. Yeah. This is uh, certainly a different kind of opponent for our friend Meister here, but he's had an excellent opening gambit. You can see oh. if he can push it all the way. He is a top player for a reason there, folks. He's looking to earn himself a date with Destiny. I'm actually surprised they're going to go back to small battlefield. We saw how effectively Meister was able to camp the platforms here, and I, I doubt he's going to leave any stage with a big flat ceiling or big flat stage open like FD, like Kalos. So he just wants these platforms, but still, Meister looks so dominant in these kind of situations where he just keeps Lugi into the air, camps the platform, not being able to hit, and still, this stock has gone unanswered so far for the Luigi main. Definitely, definitely rough for Lugi. There, uh -oh. way back in. There's a oh! what? How? How did he find that? How did he find that? <laughs> what an insane reversal! Cycling into the air. That could be curtains as he is hit by the eject button. Makes his way back up, avoiding the ball. Oh, the dash tank is going to make it through bad. as well. There's the turtle to finish it off. Oh, but that, that is a dangerous precedent that he sets there. Just the fact that he can get one reversal on ledge is enough. Meister with the SDI away. Gonna save himself from a second zero to death. But Luigi 
is on the hunt. One more five before the bucket is full, though, so he needs to watch out for that. Certainly does, certainly does indeed. You can see he's kind of aiming it so he can force Meister to shield. At least if he sticks him in shield stun, uh -oh. makes him force an option. As the bucket is now full, that is an option that can cover all manner of different scenarios. The Jack once again, a couple of bombs falling through just to oh! the airspace. Goes wide, but he falls out. Not the biggest punish, bro. This is yeah, that up air was actually yep. incredible for Lugi. He was able to avoid any potential punish by just eating a small amount of damage. But both these players, a little bit of a fumble in the advantage mm -hmm. there. Hey, Luigi now again in the air position. He's been for the majority of this game. Good air to get in with the downstairs. Oh, he wanted the LB actually. I saw the startup of it. And now gets the down throw into the Cyclone. Not going to be enough, but it is going to be a good damage for Luigi there. Up smash now going to be the closing and gets for the downer with the Cyclone. Little Still. bit stale, but one more oh. will do it. Key straight down. Look, he looking pretty rough as he gets the reversal, <laughs> sends him off to the side. I really like that upbeat from Meister. Like he jumped back on stage and then upbeat. Such a good weight there, but he sadly lost his stock for it again. Plunger to the dash. Like, wait, damage here. Luigi starting another combo. There's a getting the in. Eject is the name of the game. Couple of fireballs coming out, trying to catch him. Another cyclone sends him into the sky. But the CI from the Joy Con oh drift my God. takes down Meister. Luigi that was game. incredible. It looked so hard for him, like the first stock. And then the second and the third, he was in complete control of that game. <laughs> he he ro Dapper. he rose from ledge. Yeah. And just invented a zero to death. <laughs> Luigi man. <laughs> Luigi man. What Luigi. Man. I think I, I was talking with some other uh, players about Luigi, and the, I, the thing I find most impressive is, of course, Luigi has the Luigi has those zero to deaths. I find it's so impressive how much Luigi is able to accomplish outside of that zero to death yeah. scope, and how scary those situations can be. Like there, you notice, like the one scenario you need to avoid gra being granted like ten or twenty, but it doesn't matter against Luigi. <laughs> he's got something in the back of his mind, but Meister. I think he's gonna look to make a bit of a run back. I don't think he was too happy with that one. Meister definitely playing very, very well, clearly adapting to a lot of the advantage that Lugi can push. This is why people get run over by Lugi so often. Meister has figured it out, but it's not about understanding, it's about implementing, and if yep. you can't do it when push comes to shove, Luigi's gonna run away with it. Let's see if Meister can readapt. I love those spacings on the forward there. He's been doing Luigi, trying to avoid getting any hit by the up B. And now, Bit of an equal percentage. He gets another plunger into the dash stack and the taunting. And you can't see people are taking this in bad faith. He is doing this just because he's having a blast. Make yeah, sure genuinely. of that. This isn't disrespect. He genuinely loves this game so much. He loves the people. He loves the power. As he tries to get a couple of down airs coming out. Meister just scrambling. It looks like Luki's on the platform now. This is where Meister likes to have him. Forced into the air. Not a hole up in the cyclone. It's super, super high. Directly drifted into the center as yep. well, so you can't DI it as well. Oh, such a difficult. I don't think even if he DI correctly, that would have saved him there. Game Watch being one of the lightest characters in this game. Being in a situation like that is very hard. Speaking of hard situations, Meister with the excellent edge guard there. That was there. fantastic, beautiful down smash. The angle was brutal, and Meister recognizing he had to push the advantage all the way. Good stuff to catch Lugi where he is at his weakest. Air dodge comes down. Okay, gets the roll and is going to get caught by the chef. Meister looking for another edge guard there. Early air dodge from Lugi. Is this going to be able to get back to the stage? Game watch with the dash tech. Kind of early, no two frame for him there. And you see that Meister is suddenly walking a lot more on the lower floor. He's log walking a lot more in Luigi's face. He certainly is. Luigi really taking a massive, massive beating. The chair comes out. He's still going. But Meister's done this song and dance before. Misfire to send him down. That's going to do the job. Jack button once again. The bucket is full. Sends him up with a couple of ladders. Up B. Sends him Whoa! up. Sends him out. I've actually never seen an upper kill. <laughs> this is a first. This is, a game, this is a game of many firsts. This is a game. game of many firsts, and now we need to be very careful as Luigi. The bucket is still in Game Watch's hands, and it is full. It is probably going to kill with this percentage, honestly, being so strong, and it is frame two, so it is a good combo breaker if Luigi starts to do something crazy and messes it up. It's going to be a bit risky. Luigi now trying to get some hits in. Meister playing is excellent. Oh, also wants a bit of that... Uh, Jank RNG in, and now the bucket is gone. To be fair, it's not very hard to refill in this matchup. But I think isn't. that was a double jump. Yeah, it certainly was. There's the air dodge. That's perfect. There's the down smash. There's the grab. Can Luki get anything? There's the cyclone. Sends him up to the center, but that DI is immaculate. Looks like 
Lugu's going to have to work a lot harder if he wants to take this one back. Meister with a fantastic display of aggression, a fantastic display of adaptation. Oh! Just refusing to let Lugi get what he wants as another eject button comes out. Lugi very clearly fishing for kills here. Yeah. Meister just not letting it happen. And the second time that up smash has not been able to connect after the nair. So that's a double jump, but a good down air from Meister. is going to secure game three in his favor. Meister, Gurlio, 2-1. And so Lugi with the sign, we're going to go back. Same situation. But it's these edge guards that Meister has been really excelling with and the aggression he had this game. It certainly, it certainly is. Meister looking to continue. His ludicrous streak here in France. Lugi. That doesn't look like the face of a loser to me. Nope. But uh, we're going to see if Meister can push it all the way. We can see if he can make the run back. The crowd is gathered. Everyone has their eyes on this winner's set. Mm -hmm. It's up to Lugi to figure out where he's going wrong. To be fair, I, I have the feeling that despite, I even if Lugi lose, right? Let's let's paint a scenario. The fact that he's able to push Meister, from my feeling, to his limit. <laughs> that That's scary. <laughs> That is scary. Now we're going oh, to go. Look at the Meister's face. He's he's at some kind of a limit. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah, definitely, yeah. He's done with something. He is done with something. <laughs> is he going to be done after the set, or is he going to endure a game five? Let's see. Small battlefield yet again. The stage of choice for both these players. Okay, let's see. Out nice and early. Clearly, Lugi is playing around the sort of risk reward factor with that bucket. You know, you can throw three of them, and then you can keep throwing them. But you give him a kill option. Yep. Lugi clearly not very scared of the bucket, so to speak. We're going to see if that could come to bite him in the future as a couple of nair chains coming out. There's the up airs. Lugi just fishing for a plunger right now. Once again, Meister just holding Ooh. that upward platform. Almost gets the pivot grab there, but Meister being too fast with the eject button. He's going to quickly get out of that situation. Now a good offstage throw. Early Ooh, error from Lugi. Yeah, Still has it in, this, in his pocket. Misfire being beaten by the... Chair, and Immaculate. that is a zero to death from Meister. Immaculate edge guard from Meister. Insane, insane stuff. Let's see if we can find one of his own or if Meister has just had enough of this taunting, oh. taunting Englishman. Once again sent off, and Meister just completely untouched. Insane work. Yep. Two oh zero to death God. in a row. Lugi, this is looking borderline impossible right now. Meister seems to have figured it all out, and his last game is where every option he is able to cover against Luigi is coming through. No double jump there, burning on the nair. And Luigi looking like so he's looking like he's in so much trouble. Has to take free socks. Of course, it is Luigi. Anything can happen, but Meister looking so dominant, not giving Luigi any opportunities to get something going and that is the bucket being filled and a down there gonna get it out of there but that, the bucket still stays that is one but you need so oh, much more no! and there's the shield break a frame a pixel out of place was all it took as meister sends it out he was not happy with that one nope nope he was not happy and i i don't know what kind of emotion that was but it looked I, I'm, I'm, I, it looked like he was super done. With, it looked like a man. Set. It looked like a man who had just finished crossing a desert. <laughs> yeah, basically, yeah, basically, yeah. But yeah, that's gonna be Luigi uh, into the losers bracket, and Meister advancing into the winners' quarterfinals uh, has to face the winner of Naitoru versus Bloom Forever. Interesting. So there might be another UK player up in there, but I've got some quick bracket updates while we wait for our next match. Hit us. Uh, we have the. Impressive match that we sadly did not get. Uh. Leon versus Leon in Leon. Oh, who won? Uh, Leon. <laughs> God. <laughs> no, but Solary Leon. Uh, oh. 3-0. Oh. <laughs>